Hello everyone. Okay, today's video here, I would just like to talk about something that I became aware of this morning and I thought it was a joke. I would have never known. <laughs> well, I would have known eventually. Um, but before I talk about this, I want to, um, I just want to mention that I'm not making this video to brag about this. I'm basically going to make this video to just give my appreciation for the support and more encouragement for those who are trying to learn the language, but they're they're either discouraged or think it's think it's difficult or too difficult to learn. So this is this is going to be about the Navajo Times. The Navajo Times. Someone sent me a message this morning and told me I made the Navajo Times. And you know when I first got this message, I was like, "No way! I didn't make the Times. This is a joke." So I, I, I ignored it. I sent the message back to the guy and said, I don't believe it. And then I said, you know what? And he said it was on Facebook. So I was on Facebook. I just typed in, I just typed in like the Navajo Times. And I'm actually subscribed to that page. I didn't realize it. But um, I went there and, and I saw that they put my Navajo video up. And I was just like, wow. You know, a, a whole bunch of comments and likes. It was just crazy. And um, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. I guess the first thing I should say is um, thank you guys for the support. I appreciate it. Navajo is a very difficult language. I've been struggling with the language for about six months. I have a um, study partner, and we meet up daily. Uh, we you know, listen to the language, make up our sentences and whatnot, and use YouTube as a tool to practice the language. It's just been, it's been difficult, but I think, the, I think what's, what's um, most important is that it's, it's fun. It's been fun to learn despite the difficulties, you know. So, um, yeah, we really do appreciate that support. And um, hopefully, hopefully more people will take uh, Navajo learning seriously, especially those of um, Navajo descent. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, very <laughs> it's very flattering that you guys would do that, you know, considering the fact that I am I'm still like sucky. My Navajo still sucks. I'm not. I'm not. I'm still not where I want to be, for you know, for the Navajo language. And it's, I think it's going to take me some more time until I get to I get to what, where I want to be in the language. So, yep, however long it takes. But anyway, um, some some people want to know how I've been learning Navajo without having native speakers around or whatnot, not being on the reservation. Well, like I just said, I. Um, I have a study partner. We meet up daily. I we use a course called Dinebiza by Irvin Goosen. I think the course is pretty good. It's just I don't like the order of it. It's I don't know. It's just like a typical language course. But um, I, I think it's I, I think it's um, I think it's very useful to learn a Navajo language. Nonetheless, it has the audio. Um, has like 30 chapters or something like that. It's a, it's a really good course. It could be better, but hey, I don't want to complain too much because hey, Navajo is already a rare language to learn. You know, they didn't have to have those resources for the language. So, very thankful for that. Um, I think, um, yeah, for those people who are discouraged, like also I've been seeing people like these comments, I've been seeing people say, oh, these these Navajo kids, they need to be embarrassed because, you know, this guy, he he, he speaks Navajo and blah, blah, blah. And the kids these days don't want to go out and learn the language. Well, how can I say this without being, without sounding cold? See, those type of comments, the, like the people who are talking like that, those are the type of people who are discouraging these Navajo kids. Like those people who are, you know, jumping on them without looking at the whole picture of things. It's going back to what I was saying. Look, you got to look at the whole picture. It's like being one sided. Like you got to consider the fact that you we do you know we have people out there like people of the descent they probably are interested in learning their language naturally because they're you know they their ancestors are navajo so they probably you know what it would be cool to learn navajo but see the thing is with this language learning stuff it it's like you have to have supportive people around you have to have positive people who are positive okay 
people who are positive about things. If if I'm if I'm around people who are just you know down in Navajo all the time saying how it sounds weird and you know goofy and you know it's not a beautiful language. Why would you want to sound like that? Speak like that? It's useless and all that. I mean, uh, I'm not. It's a, of course that type of thinking is gonna rub off on me. It's gonna rub off. It's gonna rub off on me, and I'm gonna be thinking the same way, and I'm not gonna want to learn the language, you know. So I think the, the, the important thing, there, there are uh, several things you must have when learning a language. You have, first of all, you have to have this passion. You have to be willing to do it. If you don't, if you don't have the passion, you don't want to do it, you're not going to do it. I don't care if you have descent or not. If you don't want to do it, you're not going to do it. You have to have this strong passion. Then you have to have this support. You have to be around people who are supportive, people who are positive, people, you know, people who are optimistic. You know, if you're around people who are you know, talking crazy like that, it's not going to do you any good. It's not going to help you. Then you have to have um, there's the resources, you know, the right resources and the right techniques. It's very important to have the right resources, adequate resources for learning any language. Without those, you can't be successful in the language. So I think with there are those people out there who who are interested in learning Navajo, but they're they're having a hard time um, Learning it is because of those things. People, people are discouraging them, you know, and those type of people making those those comments, jumping on them like that, saying, you know, that that hurts people's feelings. That that discourages them. They're not going to want to learn the language. So, um, for me, you know, I use like YouTube for example. Like I have a lot of, I make a lot of videos practicing my language. That's why I make the YouTube videos. I put myself out there, and I know that I'm going to be criticized. I know that people are going to make some crazy comments. I already know. So um, I look at it like this. Those type of people who are talking like that, they're not really getting any. They're not going to get anywhere. I mean, think about it. Why would I get on? I mean, it doesn't make any sense for me to talk down on someone who's doing something positive. You know, why, why would I talk down on someone who's doing something positive, learning Navajo, taking pride, you know, having pride, having pride in, in, my, in my culture, my heritage, wanting to learn a language? Why would I talk down on somebody like that? It doesn't make any sense. So those people who are talking like that, they're either jealous because you have the drive or you doing it. They're jealous. You know, they, they try it themselves, but they're afraid. You see. Or they just. You know, maybe having a bad day or something. But I, I, I think they're just jealous about it. So that's inspiration in itself. People, it makes you it, it makes you stronger. So I would say uh, if you're one of those people who being being discouraged by those type of people, just, you know, just forget about them because you're the one that's going to be successful eventually. If you, you know, as long as you don't let them get to you, just keep on doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. And you know what? Once you get once you become successful they going to start respecting you. They ain't going to have a choice. They going to start respecting you. You know, especially uh, uh, learning a language like Navajo being that difficult. They going to respect you because they going to look back and say, "Oh, wow. This guy took all kinds of harsh criticism, you know, all this all this bad criticism and stuff and he he pulled through. He became successful at learning Navajo." So, my point is we need to be we need we need to be more supportive. For those for those people who are into learning those languages, so before talking down on the people who um, those 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 people who are uh, of Navajo descent and can't speak the language, you got to think of you got to consider those things. You know, they maybe they want to learn, they just being discouraged. So that's all I wanted to rant about here. Um, I just want to say uh, that I, I appreciate you guys' support and. Um, if you got, if you guys ever have any questions about language learning or just, you know, anything pertaining to language in general, send me a message, and I'll try to get back to you ASAP. Uh, normally, I make this uh, make video responses, but lately, I've been so busy. It's been like almost a week since I made a video. Today is actually my first day. Dang, when was the last video I made? It's like last week sometime. I've been real, real busy. So, uh, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, like I said, I'll get back to you eventually. In the meantime, if you're learning Navajo, please continue to learn it. The language is very, very, very beautiful. 
is I think is high rewarding once you learn a language like that, considering how difficult it is. I mean, you will be respected. So anyway, that's it for this video. And uh, thanks for viewing. And I look forward to you guys' comments and questions.